Hey y'all, what's up? It's Steph, as y'all already know. Um, so I want to do this video on my road to sobriety. And the reason I wanted to do my road to sobriety was because the other day I was at a party and I really started to crave a bar so fucking bad. I don't know what it is or what it was that made me because I have been around people that have done certain things in front of me throughout the year that I'm about to make of me being sober that have done drugs in front of me. And I don't know, out of nowhere, I just randomly started to crave a bar. And like, I thought it was just like a perfect time to um, talk about all of this and like the things I've been through, the challenges and things I've just faced throughout my journey. Um, and when I say that I've been sober off of things, I mean like everything but weed. I've never thought that weed was a drug per se, you know? So, well, I've been sober. It's about to make a year on May 1st. Um, but I've been sober from things like Coke, Ecstasy, Molly, Perks, Xanax, um, just anything you could think of that could be in my face, um, I would try to get my hands on. Um, I would literally go out and I would party with strangers. And when I say strangers, I literally mean like 40, 30 year olds, like not knowing who the fuck they were. And I just did not give a shit. Like I would literally party with them because they would be supplying certain things for me. And like, I was just like, fuck it. Why not? You know? Um, one thing that I was constantly doing while I was on drugs was I would always, and I mean always come home late. And when I mean late, it's not like 12 to, I mean like four, five, six, seven type shit. Like you need to get your ass beat by your mom, dad. <laughs> um, and I literally would always get told, you're only using this house as a place to sleep, shit, and eat. At this point, it's a hotel for you. And you know what? Like, at that moment, you're not like, no, you're not. I'm here all the fucking time. But then you look back at it, and what I realized was it was damn near a fucking hotel for me, which I do regret, and... When I think about it, I'm just like, damn, why did I put my fucking parents through this? It got to the point where they would literally call me and I'd just be like, reject, reject, reject. And like, when I think back on it, I'm just like, I wonder what they thought was going on. Like, is she okay? Is she alive? Is she, where is she? Like, cause mind you, I did not tell my parents like where I would go. I'd literally be like, okay, I'm leaving. And then they'd see me two days later or a day later and I literally would get home and I would sleep. So how did I start doing all these things? Throughout high school, I literally did all these things. And I feel it was just like the certain people I kept around me, the guys that I would date or the guys that I had things with. Mind you, if you know me, you know the kind of guys that I'm into. Um, so I definitely think it was a lot that had to do with like the people that I surrounded myself with. Um, ooh, a Snickers. Sorry. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is you actually do become the people that you're around, literally. Like you don't, you wanna say that like, no, I'm not like so-and-so, but once you start being around certain people for a certain amount of time, you do become who they are, which, you think about it. Um, so what I was trying to say was, um, I guess you start to look back at certain things and then you start to feel bad. And then you're just like, why the actual fuck did I do what I was doing? And then you want to blame it on other people rather than yourself. So you want to blame it on friends. You want to blame it on parents. You want to blame it on your boyfriend. You want to blame it on your girlfriend. 
but then you really think about it like deeply really think about it and you're your own problem like you're the only person that can prevent you from getting to where you actually need to be and i had to learn that the hard way like that was a tough pill for me to swallow um but now now that i'm sober i literally kid you not i'm so happy my thoughts are literally sober minded before i literally would take a bar and i'd be like yeah let's go rave let's do some fucked up shit now i'm more so i'm a stay at home body i hate going out i go to the gym a lot um sometimes yes you feel depressed and you feel alone but i feel that it can't backtrack you you know like you got so far why go back um and i feel that sometimes i do crave certain things but that's just temptation and then in the back of my head i'm just like no stuff like you got this bitch like don't do it ever since that i've been sober living i've been more spiritual in the sense of like not me like jesus i mean i believe there's a higher god don't get me wrong but when i say this i mean i'm talking about aura and i'm talking about yoga and i'm talking about manifesting things and I see myself being more spiritual than I am now as well. And I guess that's really it. I guess the challenges that I face more so is having those connections come back right into my life. And I'm scared that I'm going to get triggered. But then I always like let myself know that you've come this far. Don't let temptation push you to the brink of things. And I know that's like... A big deal for a lot of people because temptation is really big like I'm not gonna sit there and say sorry I'm not gonna sit there and say that things have been easy for me because they haven't I crave pills just as much as the next person that is trying to be sober I am I crave going out sometimes and being in the scenes that I used to be in but now I'm just so happy that there's no way in hell that I can go back to who I was because the person I was is no longer like I'm a completely different person. If you were to ask me a year ago, let's go to so-and-so's kickback. Let's go snort a fucking line of Coke. I'd be like, yeah, I'm down, whatever. And that sucks to say, but that's the reality of things, you know? Um, but I guess I wanted to share this with you guys because it is important to not feel alone. I want to be raw. Like I mentioned in my last video, I want to be raw. I want to let people know what the fuck I've been through and what the fuck <laughs> situations that I put myself into. Like, um, but yeah. So to end this video off, I have two quotes that I personally live by and I have them written down. So I'm going to read them to y'all. Um, so the first one is, you got to do this for you. This is for you. This isn't about anybody. Live for you, honor you, never lose sight of that. And that is deeper than telekinesis, bruh, because... I live by that. Like, I'm trying so, so motherfucking hard to not lose sight of the bigger picture because I know that I have a lot of potential and I know that I can go far and beyond of who I once was, you know? Like, I don't want to backtrack and I don't want to go back to the person I was before and I don't want to do the things that I was doing before and I don't want to ha be in the scenes that I was before because realistically, you think about it and you're just like, how am I not dead? Because... I've put myself in so many situations where I'm just like, how? Okay, and then the second one is, look at your daily habits and ask yourself if they are causing you to evolve or to revolve. Are you moving for? Ugh. Are you moving forward, or are you moving in circles? And I live by that one too because 
the thing the got it the thing is is that um i felt for a really 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 long time i was going in circles because throughout high school some of middle school i was literally doing the same things continuously but yeah those are some words that i live by and yeah I hope you guys like this video. Please comment, subscribe, and share. Give this shit two thumbs up.